My name is Ronson Madithil. I'm an assistant professor in cardiac surgery and my uh, focus is adult cardiac with a particular subspecialty focus in heart and lung transplantation and mechanical devices. I did my cardiac training at UCLA. Um, I also uh, got board certified in critical care, focusing in cardiothoracic up at the University of Washington. And then I did my uh, training in transplant and, and mechanical support over at the uh, Brigham Women's Hospital in Boston. In terms of uh, heart and lung transplant, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of heart and lung disease, uh, people with history of smoking, others are genetic diseases, et cetera. You know, we have a lot of therapies, a lot of medical therapies and things that we've, uh, we've had advances in, but at the end of the day, um, sometimes that doesn't work. And so it gets to the point where people are end stage with their heart failure or end stage with their lung disease and it becomes time to, to replace those organs. And so transplant, which is, you know, pretty kind of an advanced and big surgery, um, is something that really can help people right away. When it comes to the mechanical support for patients in heart failure, um, you know, sometimes you can go straight to the heart transplant. Sometimes they're either ineligible or they're too sick to wait. Um, we can use the, the ventricular assist device as a bridge to transplant. These are things that are really becoming standard of care that I wish, I wish patients knew that they had available to them and, and, and then could ask their doctors and get referred to appropriately earlier rather than later because unfortunately some of the times we can't do offer things is because they come to us a little too late and I, I wish that's something that uh, that we could do better at in terms of you know, access and education. My research focus is basically within this so I do uh, ECMO which is uh, a cousin to the heart lung machine uh, as a way of um, stabilizing patients um, either to recovery or to and a heart lung transplant. And so I do a lot of work with that. And then um, in particular, I'm also interested in resuscitation, uh, what we call eCPR, which also uses the ECMO machine, but basically, um, you know, current results with CPR, despite what Hollywood tells you, and it's not exactly very good. Um, but we have a pretty robust system here where we're able to get to the bedside pretty rapidly, pretty advanced therapies, including the ECMO machine, and get someone on right away so they're not getting CPR for a long time and immediately start to restore their blood flow and, and perfusion to their brain and, and the rest of their organs. And so uh, those outcomes have been very good here, and that's something that I'm looking to continue to push forward and make it, hopefully make it more widely available in the country. My goal for patients <coughs> really is, is, is a matter of quality of life. I think a lot of places, and I think it's easy to get caught up in the statistics, and just, oh, you know, we have to treat, we have to do surgery, we have to do whatever. But what I really, you know, would like to see for patients is that they get what's going to get them what they want out of life. So with whatever time we all have on this earth, um, that it's, it's a good quality uh, and the quality that they want. So sometimes that is transplant, VAD, or ECMO, um, or, or any of the things that we offer and that I specialize in. But sometimes it's also, look, with what you have, sometimes we can't, you know, it's not an option for them. And instead, I'd like to get them home to their families or, you know, enjoy the life that they have. And so I think that's, that's, that's my goal is really the quality as opposed to just doing one thing or another.